Hey guys, so if you have a capsule wardrobe and you're wearing your clothes a lot more, or even if you don't have a capsule, I'm sure you've experienced clothes getting generally worn out, fading, losing their shape, and those kinds of things. Now we can't prevent that entirely, but there definitely are things you can do to keep your clothes looking good and help them last longer. One of the best general things you can do is wash your clothes in cold water and air dry them. Just like heat damages your hair over time, it can wear out and fade your clothes a lot quicker. It also can shrink them, and anything that has spandex or elastic fibers, heat can damage those, which causes the garment to lose its shape. Plus, avoiding heat is much more environmentally friendly, and it can significantly reduce the impact of your clothing. It's obviously important to separate your darks and your lights, but do you also separate your heavier and more abrasive materials? Washing heavy things like jeans or jackets, especially those with metal buttons or zippers, with lightweight fabrics can cause the lighter fabrics to wear out a lot quicker. If you are going to wash them in one load, it's good to use mesh laundry bags to separate them and keep them from all tumbling around together. People tend to generally use too much detergent, which wastes money, isn't good for the machine or the environment, and can leave a residue that isn't good for your clothes. A lot of the washing of the clothes actually comes from the water and the agitation. I usually use 40 to 70% of the recommended amount of detergent, depending how dirty the clothes are, and I've never had any problems or thought that my clothes didn't come out clean. Also, make sure you choose a good detergent that works for cold water. And if any of you make your own detergent, I would love to hear in the comments what you use or what your recipe is, because I'd really like to try out some DIY detergents. The next tip is to avoid using fabric softeners and dryer sheets. I personally have never used them and my parents never used them growing up, so I don't really see a need for them. What they do is coat the clothing in a layer of chemicals that makes it feel softer or smell good, but they're generally pretty bad chemicals for you to breathe in or have on your skin. This residue also builds up and can cause discoloration, it can make the fabric less absorbent, and also harder to clean, especially with things like athletic wear, where it can kind of seal in odors. I haven't tried it, but I have read that white vinegar can be a good alternative to fabric softener. And the final machine washing tip is to not fill your machine too full, because the clothes need space to move around in the water to actually get clean. So like I mentioned, using cold water is good to reduce fading, but if you have dirty white garments, using hot water is better to get it clean. However, you don't want to do it all the time because it still wears out the clothes faster. Washing dark and colored clothes inside out can help with fading. Hand washing also helps reduce fading, and I've read about adding some salt to the wash, but I don't know how accurate this is and couldn't find any tests or scientific explanations. If your white clothing gets dull pretty quick, it could be that your machine needs to be cleaned and is transferring dirt or dye from previous loads. It's good to clean it pretty regularly. Unfortunately, if you share a washing machine, then this is hard to prevent. I've also read that you can add baking soda to the wash to brighten whites, but I haven't tried this yet. I think if you can, one of the best ways to naturally brighten your whites is to dry them outside in the sunshine. Washing clothes by hand is a great way to preserve them, especially delicates, because it's very gentle. It's generally best to knead the garment and avoid twisting or wringing. Also, when you're hand washing, focus on the armpits or the most dirty areas. Dry delicates by rolling or pressing them with a towel and laying them flat to dry. I'm not going to go into the specifics of caring for different types of fabrics, but I'll include a link below to a site I found that has lots of good information on washing different materials. Now a lot of clothes that are marked dry clean only can actually be hand washed, but this is of course a bit of a gamble, so definitely do your research before trying it. If you bought the item online, it's good to read the reviews and see if anyone else has tried hand washing it. But if you don't want to risk it, try dry cleaning the item as little as possible, and when you get it home from the dry cleaner, take it out of the plastic bag immediately so that it can air out. Wash your clothing only when it needs to be washed. Most people actually tend to wash their clothes more than they need to. Obviously stuff like underwear or things that you sweat in needs to be washed after every wear, but a lot of clothes can be worn multiple times without washing, especially if it's stuff that's not directly on your skin. Some things that can help you get more wears from an item before washing are hanging it up right after you wear it. It prevents wrinkles and lets air circulate through the material. Spot washing any small stains instead of washing the entire garment. Wear protective clothing like aprons or older clothing if you're doing messier things. So I actually am washing my jeans for the first time after wearing them for just under a year. 
This was something that I read about, and since I just bought a new pair of jeans, I decided to do a bit of an experiment. Honestly, my initial goal was three months without washing, and I was pretty unsure about it. But after three months, they didn't smell or anything. I decided to try six months. Again, they were fine, and I realized that a year wasn't going to be a big deal. I even wore them to a really smoky bar, and I was sure that I'd have to wash them after because they smelled so badly of smoke. But I laid them on a rack to air out, and the smell actually completely went away. It was crazy. Some people will also put their jeans in the freezer to get rid of smells. I only had to spot wash them once when I spilt a little bit of a drink on the leg. And I could definitely keep wearing them without washing. I'm just really curious to wash them and see what happens. So these are the jeans that I've worn for just under a year without washing them. And they have a little bit of a smell, but it's not at all, like, it's not, it's sort of just a neutral kind of life smell, I don't know. It doesn't smell particularly like anything or necessarily bad, but yeah, it's pretty amazing. I honestly thought after a year of not washing something that it would just stink horribly and be super dirty, but I'm very pleasantly surprised with this little experiment. So the jeans are currently soaking in lukewarm water with salt and some detergent. I'm really surprised though. I honestly thought the water was going to be a lot dirtier than it is. It's kind of hard to see on the camera, but I mean, it's obviously somewhat dirty, but I thought the water was going to be like brown and blue. So the final thing I want to talk about is storing your clothes because it's an important part of helping them last, especially if you have a capsule wardrobe and are storing anything that's not in your current capsule. First, only store clean clothes. If you have space to hang things, that's generally better because it allows for airflow and prevents wrinkles. But don't hang anything like sweaters or knit items or very heavy items because they can become misshapen. Also, if you have clothing with those little hanging loops, use them when you're storing your clothes. Hanging clothing in plastic bags is usually not good because it can trap moisture. Gently fold garments in thirds to prevent a crease down the middle. And stack folded items loosely with the heaviest on the bottom. Check for moths or bugs where you're storing your clothes and use cedar or lavender to help prevent them. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you're new to my channel, I have a thrifting video, fabric pros and cons, and fall capsule wardrobe video coming up. So subscribe to see those. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.